uh, welcome to Riviera. We're up here in LA, uh, just enjoying the day out here. We're teeing off around 945, so the weather's perfect, about 85 degrees, and uh, we're having a great time. Uh, if you guys are enjoying all these videos, make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and uh, check out our new podcast that we got fired up. First of all, the tea from San Diego, Mr. Tyler Smith. Woo! Woo! <laughs> How important do you feel right now? Very. <laughs> Great ball, man. Good ball. All right, next up on the team from San Diego, Mr. Mike Reifus. Woo! Good ball. Nice go. shot, dude. Right down the middle. Nice. <laughs> next up on the team from San Diego, Mr. Brian Reifus. Woo! Yeah. Next up on the team from San Diego, Mr. Mark Nicholas. <laughs> Woo hoo! Big cat. Oh, oh, good swing. Last ever here. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Big Dave. There you go. Oh, good one, Dave. Split it. All right, we're walking down hole number one at Riviera right now. Goosebumps are all over the place on us. Just love yeah, and life. Just keep one in play off the first two, huh? Yeah. We all hit one down the middle, and uh, we're walking this out for you guys. Carrying these cameras and uh, <laughs> doing some work. All right, got 185 right down the middle. Just gonna hit a smooth little six iron and uh, hopefully get there. Hit a good shot there. Just headed right at the pin. Come on, keep coming. Down. Start up uh, the left side, fading a little bit. Probably uh, left part of the green. All right, this par five, hole number one, is pretty phenomenal already. Uh, there's a huge false front right here. We, we were told not to go in it. And then uh, this bunker is about six feet deep. I think B's in that. And then the big cat is over uh, on the left part of the green. He's gonna have to kind of flop it over the bunker to try and get it close. And I hit a really good six iron right there. I got about 15 feet just past the pin. Now oh, really good shot right there. Look at how fast those greens are. Yeah. They're running at about a 13, maybe 13 and a half. Beastie's in the front bunker. Pretty tough shot right here. Oh, really good shot. Look at that thing run out. Yeah, well played. All right, good birdie. That's fine. That's good. Good sandy right there, B. Good ball, coach. Oh, yeah. That's what he's talking about right there. Alright, guys, it's gonna be kind of a traditional course vlog. We gotta keep his play. We're walking and we're playing as a five sum. We got the pro Dave with us. He's a cool guy. But uh, they're pretty tight out here on the pace of play, so. Hole number two right here, I missed a little bit left. I don't know what I got in, but you guys are gonna probably see a lot of swings, a lot of shots today, and less commentary, and I'm out of breath. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, par four, it's 471 yards, the number one or number two handicap. So, uh, just trying to make par. Oh, I hit this one good, it started right at the pin, but it's fading a little bit towards the bunker. Four left. Oh, landed right in between, should be perfect. Coach hit a great drive down here, left side of the fairway. He's probably got about 200 yards left. Pumped that new Epic driver with his new shaft in it. About 205 yards left. I uh, started that right side of the green, this should be really good. All right, Big Cat missed his just a little bit left. 20 yardage? No. Okay. He's probably got about 50 yards. Really good shot. All done. Nice. Good job. Terrific. Nice par, dude. Get up and down.
Good ball, Mike. Good ball, Mike. Okay. Fine. Oh, and he hit one down the middle with a nice little baby draw. Good shot. All right. Uh, th this last hole that we just teed off on is a par four. It's a short one. I think it's about 410 yards roughly. It's a slight dog leg to the right. And uh, there's some bunkers out there that you just don't want to hit in. So uh, I think a couple of us hit the fairway. And uh, we're going to go try and make a par. Big Cat, what do you think of this course so far? Man, the greens out here are probably the best greens I've ever played on. They're rolling at about a 13, and they break a ton. It doesn't look like they break a lot, but they break a ton. Everything's just in great shape. They got everyone walking out here, which, you know, less car traffic on the course, so it just is even better, better condition than a typical golf course. Not a lot of play out here either, as you would expect, and uh, just a great spot. It's kind of in a valley, really, really quiet and serene out here, and uh, really loving this place already. All right, looks like the big cat and myself are right next to each other. You could definitely throw a blanket over these. <laughs> We're gonna try and make it easy on our caddy over here who's from San Diego. So I've got right here 157 to the flag, 148 to clear the bunker. I like you splitting those two trees past the pin. Kind of like where that guy's standing on the fourth green, you can see it from here. I like you going right there, 155. Going with an eight iron, 155 left, go for the bait. Hit it right at the flag, fading over just a little bit. Should be uh, middle of the green. Good shot. Yep, there it is. Coach got me by a couple yards. <laughs> Hit it at the right side of the green, just kind of hanging there. Let's see where that ends up. All right, so Brian and I ended up on the left side of the green over here and we probably have about a 45 foot putt or so. And Tyler is a little bit long and coach, he went right out the pin and just kind of pushed it a tiny bit. So he's over to the right side. Yeah. Really nice touch. Still rolled out on It's 236 yards. It looks like a monster with uh, bunkers surrounded it. hole. <laughs> this thing is amazing. 238 all into the wind. <laughs> this bunker looks huge. They told me to miss right so I hit it right at that tree and see where we're at. Big Cat went a little bit left of the pin and uh, I'm not sure where B and Tyler went. We're working out here to get the shots for you guys. This course so one thing we're learning real fast is the defense of this golf course are the green. It's the greens. They're super tough, hard to read, rolling out, and uh, you get on the wrong side of these greens and you're looking right down the barrel of a three putt. <laughs> but man, is this place magical. Yeah. Love it. I hit that three wood left. I didn't hit it very good, but uh, it looks like I got a pretty good angle here. So I'm gonna just try to get this thing up and down. Super tough part three, 240 yards into the wind. This thing is uh, Shane no puppy and somehow coach made it on the green. <laughs> Did I? Yep. Oh yeah. Go. Oh, got a good bounce, and he's got a nice little 10-footer left. Good shot. We got Tyler over here. He's just short of the green. Hit a nice little flop. And there she is. Oh, we got B over there in the bunker. You can barely see his head. He's about to come up. He went a little long. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Turn. Nice 
putt. Good par. All right, guys, this is hole four or five. I'm not sure, but it's 419 yards, and it's a dog leg to the left, so you've got to carve one around the trees here. And uh, as you can see, if you just go straight, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, wow. Started out at the right, drawn back, and should be good. Good ball. And he just pumped it down the middle with the little draw. Good shot, Dave. We got three in the fairway right here. Me, Tyler, and the big cat. This is what we're looking at. A little downhill, dog leg left, par four. And uh, looks like it's surrounded by a lot of nasty trash. Coach has got about 200 left. Skinny that over towards that mound on the right. It got over, and not sure where it ended up, but it got over the mound. All right, Big Cat pumped his down here. Got 170 left, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. Go, just middle of the screen, maybe play a little fade in there. Oh, he crispy this one. Right at the middle of the green, just like he called it. Okay, right in front, good shot, about 15 feet. Yeah, Riviera is just a special place. We're really enjoying this. We're all walking, having fun. The course is beautiful. Dave is an awesome pro, super cool dude. Enjoying playing with him. All right, so coach ended up just a little bit short of the green over here to the right. And he's got a pretty thinny lie. And you guys can see what he's working with here. He's gonna be coming up. The pin's in a pretty easy spot. Just needs to get it on there and let it roll out. Going. Oh, sniffed it. Great shot, a little four footer left. Here's Tyler, hitting his third shot from back there. This is coming in, looking good. Ooh, with some spin, oh. with a little tour sauce. Oh, wow. mama. Great shot. Nice putt. There is what they call a donut hole right in the middle of this green. You do not want to go in there. <laughs> so you guys can see it's a pretty big green, but you get on the wrong side of that thing and it's going to be death. So just go right out of this thing, maybe even just, you know, favor a little bit long and avoid that donut. Started that right side of the pin and it's drawn back. This looks awesome. Yeah, yeah good shot. Tyler started to left of the pin, drawn a little bit, so looks like it's gonna catch the green. All right, this should be a fun putt. Oh, it's trickling towards the hole. The cat started at the pin with a slight fade. This looks pretty good. Okay, pin high, just left of the pin. He started at the pin with a slight fade. Came up a little shy. All right, these are our shots right here. Uh, looks like the big cat is close. It's got probably about a eight, nine, 10 footer. I went a little long with that eight iron right there. And then Tyler's got such a fun putt right here. Uh, he's got to kind of come close to that bunker if he wants to get it close to the pin, and then it all feeds downhill. The cat even mentioned that he, he wants the ball to die right where he's at, and then it should trickle and funnel towards the hole. So let's see if uh, Tyler can do it. Oh wow. Wow. wow, dude. Oh, and he gets a little ricochet off that. That's as good as you can do. Yeah, that's an A plus wow. right there. <laughs> yeah, really well done. That was really fun to watch. <laughs> He's key. All right, pretty good speed. All right guys, we're gonna end part one right there. We are running around out here doing some serious work. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Grab some merch in the store and uh, we'll see you guys for part two. And congrats to all of us for hitting 50K.